Welcome to another edition of the Meribara Castlemaine District Football Netball Show. I'm Grace Bibby, joined by Yendi. How are you, mate? Yeah, pumped. Uh, netball season is flowing along very, very nicely and uh, really can't wait to talk some big, uh, big netball games from the weekend. Yeah, we certainly are into the nitty-gritty now and the results haven't gone the way that we all thought. Yeah, no, exactly right. Well, uh, seeing Navarre down the bottom of the ladder, uh, given the powerhouse side they've been over uh, over the last couple of years, uh, I think it's a bit of a shock to the system and uh, no doubt they've got the they've got a bit of development going on there, but we expect that as, as a club they'll uh, they'll be resurgent, and you can never ever write a good uh, good team off like that. Yeah, that's it. They certainly struggled on the weekend against Denali. Denali absolutely towed them up, fifty six to sixteen. Yeah, it's what been a bit of a changing of the guard, I reckon, because uh, Denali uh, they've been competitive over the years, but Navarre have been one of the powerhouse teams for for so long. So. For the, uh, the the team, the Eagles, to come out and make a big statement like this, and they, they showed glimpses of their potential last year, and they've uh, they followed through with that this year, and to see them on top of the ladder is, is, a, is a pat on the back for all the great work that's been going on behind the scenes with some of the stars they've got on the team. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, Denali sitting comfortably at the top of the ladder at the minute, and just behind them is Harcourt. They're also undefeated after two. They knocked off Lexington on the weekend. Yeah, great uh, great win there by the Lions over a Tigers outfit that uh, they really pushed hard for for the full four quarters. And, and while Lexington, they'll be looking to improve this year, we know Harcourt, they, were, uh, they will continue to improve and, and be one of the top sides in the competition. If, if we're going to see a bit of a changing of the guard, a bit of a, with some of these other sides that have uh, have sort of stood at the foot of the likes of uh, Navars and the, the elections over the journey. This is the time for them to do it, and it's great to see Harcourt put on a good performance and continue that good start of the year. And another one of those teams that's been under Navarre for a while, Natty Bialba, they talked up their second win of the season over Newstead. Yeah, exactly. Uh, great win there by the Swans as a club. They've, uh, we're seeing some great things from them, and their netballers are, are doing all the right things as well. So uh, they're off to a really good start of the season, two wins from three games, but We'll, uh, and, and Newstead have probably been a little bit disappointing. We know that they've uh, they've got a lot more potential than what they've shown already. Had not to yet to secure a win this year, but no doubt that that first win's not too far away. But the Swans they made a statement of the competition with a 37 goal win, and we expect them to uh, to continue to to improve on that. And our reigning finalists from last year, Trentham, they were another big winners over Molden on the weekend. Yeah, exactly, and uh, it was a close game on paper as well because uh, the Bombers, they had two wins from their opening two games, so for the Saints to come out and, and win by 28 goals with the talent they've got in their team is, is fantastic. That does speak of where uh, Molden are at as well. I think they're, they're another team that's looking to improve in 2018, and they've already shown that already. I don't think they should be too disheartened from that performance there because we're seeing a really good Trentham side at the moment that is doing all the right things to, uh, to continue to be that powerhouse team. And the big wins continued with Maribor defeating Campbell's Creek. Yeah, confidence-boosting win there for the Rovers. They haven't had the uh, the best start of the season. That was their first win of the 2018 season after having the the draw uh, against Talbot in in round one under lights. And we know Campbell's Creek uh, they've they've got a lot of improvement to to go on on and off the field. And I think they should be feeling uh, quite quite confident with that performance. There, 37 goals to to get within uh, 15 goals of the reigning grand final so I think that's fantastic for them and uh, it's baby steps for them as, as a team and we no doubt that that first win's not too far away. And Carisbrook also in the winner's circles after beating Avoca. Yeah, that was a really good game between the two sides because Avoca have shown enormous potential in the first uh, first few weeks of the season. And, and we know Carisbrook, they've, uh, they've they've got a lot of the tools in the shed to, to put on a really good performance and, uh, and and really win some big games. So to see a good game between those two sides there, it was a game that really could have gone either way. And we know Avoca, they will they will push for finals this year and that uh, they, they put on a good effort against a strong Carisbrook side who were undefeated to start the year. And the match between Tolbert and Royal Park, not too close, but one of the closer games for the round. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And a uh, great win there by the uh, the Hawkers, who uh, haven't uh, who have only had the draw previously to start the year. And Royal Park, uh, no doubt that they're a, they're a good side, and they'll uh, they'll be looking for that first win of the season as well. And if we look forward to round four, we've got a Voca v Natty Bialba. What are your thoughts? Um, expect Natty Bialba to uh, to register as third winner of the season there, but it's not going to be an easy one because, as I mentioned before, Avoca have uh, have improved dramatically in the off season. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulldogs get up, but I I think Natty Bialba at this time of the year they they're really looking to. to push their way into the top four and I, th I think the competition needs a team like Avoca to probably win this one but I think the Swans just a, a little bit too much class on the day. Yeah what about Campbell's Creek taking on Newstead are they any chance of taking the points? Yeah well, as I mentioned before uh, Campbell's Creek should be feeling very confident on the back of that 37 uh, goal effort uh, the previous uh, last weekend so I think they can build on that and, uh, and take down Newstead and, and get that first big win and I, I think 
for the club uh, as, as a whole, including their football and netball. If, uh, if they can get this big win here, I think it's, it, it'll bring a lot of confidence back to the club and a lot of, uh, a lot of happiness, which we know that, that they are, they're looking for. And Harcourt and Carisbrook, that'll be a good match? Yeah, it's going to be a great game to watch on paper. An un unbelievable contest between two undefeated sides, sitting third and fourth respectively. I've gone for Harcourt to win this one. They had a hard-fought win uh, on the weekend, and uh, they've, they've dug deep when it counts, and they know how to beat the, uh, beat the good sides here. So I think it'd be great for Harcourt to come away with a win here. Yeah, I think Harcourt will take the points in that one. What about Lexton v Trentham? Uh, Trentham is just doing all the right things at this time of year and uh, they continue to get better and I think teams, uh, if they can run with them for quite some time, I think this is, that, that'll be great for them but uh, they, they, they've just got a great blend of uh, young players, blend of experience, they're very well coached and they're one of the exciting teams to watch in the region. Navarre v Talbot. Navarre, can they get their first win on the board? Andy? Oh, look, can they do it? They can. They, well, they're at home, so that'll give them a, 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 an advantage. I've I've gone uh, Talbot's way um, because they've played some great netball, and they are coming to this game with a, with a bit of winning form. But do you think Navarre can crack through for that big one? Yeah, I think their first win's a while away yet. I don't think they'll get the job done against Talbot. Sorry, Navarre. And uh, Royal Park v Rovers. Yeah, going for the Ravens to this one here. They're, uh, I mean, it's they've had a change of personnel in the off season, but they've still got so much potential in that lineup that they can really come away with a with a big win here and and uh, and still stake that claim to rise up the ladder. They've just they've got too much potential in that team. And in all due respect to uh, to Royal Park, who haven't had a win this year, I, I don't see that happening this week. And rounding out the competition for the week, Denali v Molden. Can you see Denali being upset this early on? Oh, I just love the, love the idea of seeing Denali sitting on top of the ladder. I think that's, uh, it, it does wonders for the club. And Molden are a terrific side. They've already shown that this year. But I just see the, uh, the Eagles, they are continue to, to fly high and uh, to see them on top of the ladder. And um, if Navarre sort of, yeah, sort of get rolled, uh, you know, it, it's just a change of base. It's great. It's healthy for the competition to see some of these developing sides. And I love in the way how Denali going about their netball. Yeah, it is excellent to see different clubs stepping up to the plate and others dropping off. It's very even competition, but it's good to see. Absolutely. That's what we want to continue to see. But the beauty is a few of these games could really go either way this weekend, which uh, doesn't matter which game you go to. I think the results are... Uh, it's. We're not, it's not a foregone conclusion and, uh, and we're really going to see a lot more twists and turns in how this ladder evolves over the next sort of three to four weeks and speci especially leading up towards Interleague as well. I think it's very exciting. Certainly is. Well, thanks for joining us, Yendi. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on board. Good luck to everyone in round four.